This is the Fisher Transformation and Fisher Inverse Calculator for MathCelebrity.com. There's three ways to get there. The first is type Fisher Inverse or Fisher Transformation. Or if you want to run your problem directly from the search engine, you can say something like Fisher Transformation for 0 0.5. If you want to run the inverse calculation, you say Inverse. We'll go ahead and press the calculator return key. And here's our calculator. Now, if you're on the calculator, here's where you would have entered your number. And then you press what you're going to do. If you're going to do the transform, you press Fisher Transformation. If you're going backwards and doing the inverse, you press Fisher Inverse. So the calculation that we ran from the search engine is the Fisher Transformation. So we go ahead and state the formula here and break it out. Calculate our, our A piece, which we're then going to take the natural log of. And we then get to our Z piece. So our transformation is complete. At the bottom of each calculation, we also show you in Microsoft Excel how to do this calculation if you ever want to get this number. So let's go ahead now and see if we can go backwards. We'll use this number here. Paste this in. Now let's run the Fisher inverse. So again, we state our formula to go backwards from Z to R. Plug in our R value. Simplify. And we get our R, which is actually what we started with on the last calculation, so that's great. And again, now if we want to go backwards in Microsoft Excel, we can use the Fisher in calculation. Finally, we've got a practice problem generator for this lesson. So we'll go ahead and press generate practice problem. It'll generate a random number, and then it'll either ask you to do the inverse or the transformation. So this time we got an inverse. Let's see if we get inverse again, and it loaded our new number. Let's press it again, see if we get transformation. So there we go. So now you can just press this button as many times as you want, and you can get practice problems. And when you're ready to solve, you just press whatever button it asks you to solve for. And it runs the math for that calculation. Expand this. And there you go. The last feature of this lesson, besides the shortcuts and the practice problem generator, we've got a quiz generator. So you can kind of keep your skills sharp. For more information on how to use that quiz generator, visit the video link under the quizzes folder right here. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.